What are early signs of breast cancer and what to do? Breast cancer is cancer that develops from breast tissue. It is the second most common cancer diagnosed in women in the United States, however it can occur in men too. Breast cancer starts with some certain changes in the breast. By detecting these abnormalities, the disease can be treated timely to avoid advances and complications. This video presents. Breast cancer. Early signs, risk factors and advice. Early signs of breast cancer. A lump in the breast is often the most obvious sign of breast cancer, however, it's not either the only or first one to develop. Followings are some signs of breast cancer 1. Lumps inside the breast are under or maria. Breast cancer can cause a lump that doesn't go away even your period is done. It is often painless but may cause a prickly sensation. During the onset, the lumps are often too small to see or feel, but they can be visible on a mammogram. 2. Alterations in skin's texture. Due to breast cancer, skin cells can get inflammatory, leading to skin's texture changes. Skin becomes scaly around the nipple and areola area. In certain parts of breast, skin can be thickened and itchy. Although not very common, these changes can indicate Paget's disease, a rare breast cancer type. However, these abnormalities sometimes result from dermatitis and eczema. 3. Sudden nipple discharge. Another symptom of breast cancer is discharge from the nipple, which is thick or thin fluid ranging in color from clear to milky to yellow, green, or red. Although most nipple discharge is non-cancerous, it can signify breast cancer in some people. Other possible causes of nipple discharge are breast infection, a side effect of birth control pills and certain drugs, thyroid disease and variations in body physiology. 4. Dimpling of the skin on the breast. Dimpling occurs when lymph fluid keeps accumulating in the breast due to inflammatory breast cancer. The skin's appearance is often called pod orange because the dimpled skin resembles the surface of an orange. 5. Changes in lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small, rounded collections of immune system tissue that filter fluid and capture potentially harmful cells, including bacteria, viruses, and cancer cells. Once a breast cancer cell spreads to another place, its first destination is the underarm lymph node region on the same side as the affected breast, causing swelling in this area. The collarbone is affected too, resulting in small, firm, swollen and tender lumps. However, breast infections and other completely unrelated illnesses can lead to these changes too. 6. Persistent pain in a specific breast area. Due to the changes in skin cells structure, affected people may experience pain, tenderness, and discomfort in the breast. Although breast cancer is often painless, it is important not to ignore any signs or symptoms that could be due to breast cancer. Some people may describe the pain as a burning sensation. 7. Unusual and sudden inversion of the nipple. As cells behind the nipple change, it inverts and reverses inward into the breast or alters in size and shape. The appearance of the nipples can often change during ovulation or other parts of the menstrual cycle, but people should see a doctor about any new nipple changes. 8. Appearance of dark or reddish areas on the breast. Some people may recognize discolored or even bruised area on the breast, sometimes the color can be red, purple or bluish. If these changes are not caused by recent trauma, immediate treatment is highly recommended. You also need to seek medical advice if breast discoloration does not disappear, even if trauma was the cause. 9. Swelling on certain areas or the entire breast. Your breast may alter in shape and size in comparison to the other breast, without a distinct lump. The skin may also feel tight due to the swelling. That being said, these changes are sometimes just normal conditions of the breasts or due to puberty, pregnancy and menopause, so be informed while identifying the signs. However, to make sure you are okay, seek professional advice. Keep in mind that there is a variety of breast cancer, and their effects vary from person to person. Risk factors. According to American College of Physicians Trusted Source, ACP, people belonging to the following group are at risk of breast cancer, those having a personal or family history of breast cancer or a high-risk lesion, those possessing the BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene mutation, those exposed to chest radiation during childhood. Screening and Diagnosis. American College of Physicians Trusted Source, ACP, recommends that women ages 40-49 should ask their doctor about whether they should start having a routine mammogram. Women aged 50-74 who have an average risk should have a mammogram every two years. Women with an average risk should stop screening when they reach 75 years of age or if they expect to live another 10 years or fewer. 
Women of all ages with an average risk should not undergo clinical breast examination to screen for breast cancer, as the ACP guidelines no longer recommend a clinical physical examination as part of routine screening. Do you know any stories of people having breast cancer? Share with us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends.